Hey guys, now in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get your live streaming permissions back if this picture is popping up on your screen and you just can't get it to go away and you're not able to live stream, then you've clicked on the right video because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to fix it. So if you guys are excited for today's video, please drop a like and let's get straight on to fixing it. My live streaming permissions were taken away on the 1st of November 2020 and I only recently got it back two days ago and I've tried multiple ways to try and figure out how to get my live streaming permissions back but it never ended up working. I even started a second channel called JK Plays Streams because I just wanted to figure out a way to live stream but finally I know the exact way to get your live streaming permissions back. Now before I tell you guys how to do it let me just say that if you guys did break any community guideline rules or any rules in general like being too young under the age of 13 or having copyright music at the back or showing something violent or inappropriate on your live stream then this is probably why your thing has been taken back and you probably want to contact YouTube about that and you may not get it back but if you don't know the reason why your permissions got taken away and if your live streaming permissions got taken away for, from you for no apparent reason then I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix it in today's video. For this method you are actually going to need Twitter so if you guys can make sure to go quickly create an account on Twitter so that you can continue with the rest of the video. On this YouTube Twitter page you can actually see that there are quite a bit of people trying to figure out how to fix their own problems. And some of these people are getting replies and they don't even have a single follower. As you can see here there is this Rakesh guy and he has zero followers and they are still replying to him. So then I got the idea maybe if I tweeted at them that they could tweet back and they could solve my problem. So then I tweeted a message to them on Twitter saying at Team YouTube, can you guys look into why my live streaming permissions were revoked? I never got a community guideline strike. My, my stream was taken down and then I couldn't stream ever again. It happened in November 2020. I know for a fact that I did not violate policy. Thanks. I tweeted at them at 12.40 p.m. on the March 18th. I waited four days for a response from Team YouTube and there was still no response. So I replied saying, please get back to me on my tweet. I tweeted at them at 4.45 on March 22nd. Then about an hour later or so, they replied back saying this. To clarify, your live streaming capability is disabled as part of our recent actions to protect minors on the platform. I was like, okay. So then they said, in case you missed it, we recommend checking out this resource that can give you more insight on why this happened. So then I checked it out and basically their minus protocol is where you can't live stream unless you are over the age of 13. But I was already over the age of 13 when I live streamed because I had turned 13 in May and I streamed in November. So I replied back to them saying, so I replied back to them with their own policy saying live streaming policy. In order to better protect minors on YouTube, we do not allow children under the age of 13 to live stream unless they are visibly accompanied by an adult. Channels not in compliance with this policy may lose their ability to stream. And then I replied at the, a little bit at the bottom saying I was not under 13. And I was very frustrated because they like taking away my capabilities to stream when I'm not even under the age of 13. So I got very frustrated. So then I replied a little bit down saying this is very frustrating. And I said this all at 11.30 a.m. on March 26th. And about an hour later on the same day, they replied back saying this. Aside from reviewing the restrictions, if you haven't yet, you can also try verifying your age. This helps as you check to see if your channel's live streams will be enabled. Here's how. They send me a link and they said reach back out if needed. And they basically were checking if I had made the account or um, a little bit younger than me to see if the error wasn't with them, it was actually with me if I put like a wrong date on there that said I was under 13, but I wasn't. So I verified my age and everything and then about 3.20 p.m. I basically just said please get back as soon as possible because I had already verified my age and I was definitely over the age of 13 when I streamed. So then they got back to me about eight minutes later saying we'll pass this along and see what we can find out. Note, for security reasons, it's best you delete your tweet as it includes sensitive info. And I basically just sent them a picture of my age and when I live streamed, but I deleted that straight after because they said I should. And then the next day, I replied at about 1.50 p.m. saying, 
um, any information on my live streaming permissions because it's been about like nine days already and it keeps going on and they keep delaying the issue. So then they replied back to me about an about at two o'clock two o'clock and they basically said we're still looking into your issue we'll let you know once we have an update and i was getting very impatient at this point because i was like come on bro like can you just figure out why because this is this is taking forever for you and um like i just want my live streaming permissions back because it's already been like a year and a half but then i waited and i waited and then i replied saying please can i get a response and then about two hours later I was extremely, extremely happy to hear this. They replied to me about two hours later saying, update, live streaming should now be enabled on your channel. Tweet back if needed. So now all I had to do was basically see if it actually worked. So if I go to my live streaming right now, you can see that it finally works. It doesn't say live streaming isn't available right now. I am so happy and so grateful that YouTube were able to fix this problem. Um, it's a bit annoying that this is happening. Um, maybe they thought that I was under 13 because of how I appeared on the screen when I live streamed. But it's all good now, now that I fixed it. And this is how you can fix it for yourself. Tweet to them about your problem. So in my case, I basically said, can you guys look into why my live streaming permissions were revoked? And because I never got a community guideline strike, I was so confused. So try and reach out to them on Twitter, basically saying, hey, can you guys look into this issue? Because this is an error that gave, was given to me falsely. Then you guys need to be patient because as I said, this took about nine days for me. It can go much quicker for you. This can happen within one day. But you guys just need to be patient because they are dealing with a lot of different problems from a lot of different users. So you guys just need to be patient and wait for a response from YouTube. Then depending on what they replied to you, they probably will reply to say your live streaming permissions have been taken down because of an error to protect minors. And if you were under 13 and you did live stream, you did violate policy and you might need to start a new YouTube channel to live stream again. But basically what I did was I replied to them with their own policy, which means they, can no, they can't say I'm making anything up because it's their policy. So I basically said, in order to protect minors, we do not allow children under the age of 13 to live stream. And then I replied back down saying I was not under 13. I find this very frustrating. And then what they'll probably do is they'll reply to you saying, we'll pass this along to our policy team and get more info on it. And then they'll basically be looking into your problem and trying to see if you did actually violate policy or if it's an error and they can fix it. And if you didn't violate policy, then you should get a message like this. Live stream should be now available on your channel. Tweet back if needed. Because now they have sent it into their policy team and they have found out that you did not break any rules or policy and they have given you your channel's rights to stream back because they know that you didn't do anything wrong and it was an error.